Okay, so starting off with uh, Cancer. Cancer, for the rest of February, um, you're going to go back and forth and back and forth as well. Uh, you're going to um, kind of uh, hesitate on whether or not to move forward, whether or not to take a left instead of a right. It's going to feel like you're kind of lost on your path right now. It might feel like you don't know what to do next. It's like you might be looking everywhere to find the direction or the answers that you're seeking to resolve a certain issue or a problem. It also, it also might be that you're wanting to try to take back your control in a certain situation. Maybe you're starting over with something right now. It feels like maybe you have to start all over, start back from scratch. Maybe you tried something and you didn't get it right the first time. Maybe there's a test that you need to retake. Maybe it's a certain uh, license or certification that you're trying to get. Maybe you're needing to ask for extra help uh, in order to understand something more clearly. For some of you, it might be about counseling or getting counseling or going to therapy, deciding, you know what, I need to heal some old wounds so that I can move forward. And that's probably exactly what you need to do right now. Cancer, I'm also going to say in the um, work area or the financial area, things are definitely better than they were last year. But there's also different challenges that you're facing. And you know what? Those two will pass. These challenges you're going to be able to conquer and succeed. What might feel like it's failing is actually going to be lifting you up and putting you in a whole new direction. So you're not going to have to think twice about where to go, which way to go, how to do it, what to do next. Because it's all going to be laid right out for you. Where love and relationships are concerned, cancer. I do feel like for some of you, most of you, you're single right now. Wondering, you know, what's next? When is somebody coming in? Um, some of you are dating online. Be very careful with that. Because people can be anybody they want to be online. It's very difficult to try to have a long distance relationship. Especially with somebody that you've never seen in person. That you don't know if they're telling you the truth. If somebody's asking you for too much information, please do not bother. Block that person and move forward. For some of you... There's, there's definitely going to be a dynamic uh, friendship that is going to build and is going to end up turning into a long-term relationship, which is going to turn into a marriage eventually. There are steps that you need to take, though, in order to get yourself prepared and ready for that, and that is by also working on you, not just the um, physical part of you, but the inner part of you. There's, there's something that you're needing to uh, contemplate or to go back and forth with that is going to give you the answer that you seek. And for some of you, you've lost something. I feel like you're going to find it. It is within the home. It, it's like it is there. It might be stuck in between two papers or something like that. But there is something that you've lost that you will find. There's also good news coming from a family member from distance. And there's also a wedding that you're going to be invited to very soon. All right. Now, Pisces. Pisces, there, there's an attitude around you that it's kind of like, I don't care anymore. It is what it is. I can't stand that saying. Because it is what it is means that you're not trying to fix it or change it. You're just like, whatever. Like, you don't really care. That is what it is, is, is can't be used. Get rid of it. Stop saying that. All right? You, you have the power to make changes, to change a situation, to change somebody's mind, to win whatever it is you're trying to win or to reach that goal that you're trying to reach. But Pisces, if you keep staying in that negative phase and you're wondering why nothing's changing and why nothing's getting better, why things keep repeating itself, because you're doing the same shit. All right, now, where relationships are concerned, Pisces, a lot of you may be involved in a dating relationship. I don't see a commitment, but I see a dating relationship. But I feel like there's trust issues here. Or you're wondering if your partner's cheating. For a few of you, and I don't know who you are without a personal reading, for a few of you, your person is talking. There is a third party mix up. I'm sorry. But you have the doubts. You you know this feeling that you've got. You've gotten some proof. You've saw some things that maybe you shouldn't have seen, but you did. So now you know, you know to be on your guard or you know that, you know what, stop tolerating the bullshit and just walk away. For those of you that are single, just know that there, there are changes coming about. And it looks like between May and June that somebody is coming in. This person is going to be a better fit for you. You won't have to try so hard to make it work. All right. Scorpio. Scorpio, you know, you keep going back and forth with your emotions and your feelings. You say this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday, you change your mind. It's like you can't stay 
uh, on a on a mm, balanced level. Your your moods go up and down. It's almost like at one moment you're manic, the next moment you're 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 depressed. It's like you got mania, or you're really hyper and busy and blah blah blah, or you're down and you're low. It, you you got to find some kind of balance there. There's also something to do with either sleeping pills, sleeping medication. I don't know what that is, but please, if you're abusing something, get help for it now. There, there's something going on where you're not liking the situation that's around you, so you're either drinking or you're taking something. I don't know what that's about, Scorpio. I also feel like you keep, you keep insisting on keeping two. It's like keeping two, and you can't have two. You gotta choose. You can't keep doing this. You're playing these mind games, and when one disappears, then you give the other one all your attention. And then when the other one comes back, then you ignore this one. So you know what? You're, you're wrong in what you're doing. And you need to make a decision. You need to make a decision that's best based, a, a best decision for you, based on you and your needs. Not what you think you keep trying to fix in another person. The only reason you keep going back to that same old person, and I don't mean old as an age, I mean that same old person, is because you keep feeling like they need you. Like you're the healer, you're the magician, you're, the, you're gonna create magic and you're gonna heal this person or fix all their problems. It's not your job. That's why it doesn't work out, because it's not your shit to fix. You know what? Let them go. Let them do what they're supposed to do. They got issues. They got problems. And you know what? They can't be faithful to you. Go back to the person who you really cared about, who you know cared about you, the person who would have stuck their head out and, and, and done anything, the person that will never tell you no, the person that has a huge heart for you and wants to show you just how much they care. But they're scared, too because you've, you've walked away from them before and you keep making them the option and not a choice. It's time, Scorpios, that you make somebody your choice and stop dealing with the fantasy shit and deal with reality, all right? Capricorn, Capricorn, you're a long way off right now. There's some traveling coming up. There's movement coming up. There's things you're wanting to do, places you're wanting to go. You're not gonna stay still. During the next four to six months, you are going to make a decision to just kind of like move up, sell out, get rid of something, sell something, buy something new, um, start over. It's like, you know what, you, you're trying to find a better way. And as long as you line your ducks up first before you make these moves, you're good. But if you just walk off of the job and quit without somewhere to go, without something to do, without any way to make your money, you're going to find yourself in a shithole. So make sure you're doing this the right way. Make sure you're making good choices and decisions. Make sure you're planning things out and then make your moves, but do it accordingly, okay? So you can protect you. There's uh, some of you that are trying to um, gather information or gather evidence about um, either something for court or you're, you're talking with an attorney or there's something about a big case coming up. I also feel like this Capricorn is going to work out in your favor and I do feel like the settlement will go in your favor as well. I feel like the proof will be there that you need. For some of you that's dealing with custody battles or issues, it is going to be in your favor. The children are going to spend a majority of the time with you. They will have visitation with the other person, but the like residential custodial parent will be, in fact, you. Finances will definitely be a little bit tough for the first three months of this change after this hearing, but things are going to fall right into place and a balance is going to come in as long as you get a routine down. Understand those children need a routine to make them feel stable and secure and safe and to keep their mind okay. Do not talk about the ex-parent in front of those children. Do not do that. All right. Taurus. Taurus, your heart is always out there to give. You're always wanting to help. You're always wanting to change things. You're always wanting to make things better. You're very quiet when it comes to arguments. You don't try to start them. You really don't want to deal with them. You just like things to go smooth. It's kind of like you might know what your partner is doing. You might have suspicions, but you're also feeling like, you know what? I'm just going to let them be. And sooner or later, they're going to realize that what they thought out there was so much better. They're going to realize is isn't that the grass is not greener. And they're going to come back to you and they are going to confess and speak to you. So be patient. Stay where you are. Right now, Taurus, you're holding your own. You make your own money. You support yourself. You don't ask anyone for anything. Just stay where you are. There are nice changes about to come, and there's a vacation that you're going to be going on 
coming up in the next couple of months and things are going to just feel so much better. I also feel like there was a burnout mode for you for a little while, but now you're recovering from that. I think that there was um, either something physical, it could have been a surgery, it could have been um, maybe a flare up of something, but there was something physical that was not helping your moods or your body to feel well. But I feel like now you're just starting to overcome that. You're strengthening, whether you're exercising, walking, whatever, but you're doing a lot of the better things. You're making better food choices. You're making better choices where physical activity is concerned, and that is helping with the overall situation. So keep up the good work. Virgo. You miss a lot of people. You've walked away from a lot of people, or a lot of people have walked away from you. Things have changed dramatically over the past three years. You feel like the country's come to a whole shit show. You feel like that the people that used to be in your life at the time, maybe you felt you didn't need them, maybe you felt they were toxic, maybe you felt like they were the problem, but I think you looked in the mirror and finally realized, Virgo, that you were actually the problem. You were the one who was either binging too much or drinking too much or doing something too much that it was making you become paranoid and fearful and nasty and, and controlling and, and all the above. And listen, sometimes we get that way. But I want to say that you finally, you've either cleared something up or you've cut something down or you've gotten something back under control. And now you're able to see that those people that you walked away from or closed the door on, you actually miss them. You want to talk to them. You want to get back involved with them and you're wanting to rebuild. Some of them will, some of them won't. Some of them, like, already burned that bridge. They're done with it. And some of them, you'll be able to at least communicate somewhat. On a, on a normal basis, but they will not come back the way that they were. They won't. They'll be worried that you'll do this again. Um, there's also something that you lied about, and I don't know what you were trying to cover up, or you try to cover up for somebody else, but it wasn't helping the situation. Just understand, whatever it is that you lied about, or whatever you try to cover up for somebody, you didn't help them. You're only setting them up for failure. Next time, tell them you don't want to be involved. Don't let yourself get put in between. It's not a good look. Um, a brother or sister from the other side is trying to come through. We're just wanting to, you to know they're okay. Apparently this person died in a car accident. I hope that makes sense to you. They want you to know they're okay. There's an S name. I don't know who that's for. Um, also, let me just say for Virgos, you know that structure and routine helps them all. And without that, having the same routine daily, keeping the same rules, it'll make it, everything just go so much smoother. But you need to put your boundaries into place. You need to set boundaries, especially with the children. You need to set boundaries, and they need to understand what the boundaries mean and why boundaries are important. Have that talk with them. All right, there's also something to do with a child, Virgo. Um, this child is maybe working in a place that may not be safe, or you might have a funny feeling about it, or you may think that you don't really like that person, like where they're at or where they're working. Um, you just feel like something's not safe for them. But I do feel like your child is going to be changing careers is or going to be going back to something that they're familiar with, maybe something they went to school for, something that's during the day, something that's much better suited for them. So be patient. They are going to make better choices and decisions. Uh, there's also somebody from your past who's wanting to communicate with you, Virgo. Somebody who misses that connection, and this is a love partner. So be prepared for that. Now you may just get back together talking on a friendly basis. There may be some intimacy for some of you, but for majority of you, it's gonna be just, I miss you as my friend kind of thing. So be patient, but that's coming. Also, diabetes and weight and alcohol all needs to be put into moderation, please. Please start being careful and mindful of what you're eating and what you're doing. Stop pushing the limit, okay? Virgo, don't push it. Stay strong. I feel like you've accomplished a lot. I feel like you've came through and weathered a lot of storms, especially this last storm that really took you for a loop. I feel like you really weathered it. You handled it. But there's other things about your health that you need to pay attention to before it becomes a problem. Remember I told you that. All right, guys. These were the last six that needed to be done. I'm going to upload them now to the YouTube.